Hey guys, Picana here, bringing you guys on the GTA 5 video, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Cunning Stunts DLC. It's been out since Tuesday, it's currently Friday evening from this recording when it's going up, but we've had a few days to play around with the DLC, explore the DLC, explore the cars, and in this video, it's just going to be some crazy talk about why I think this DLC is the best DLC ever to hit GTA. We've got some serious racing shown in this video, we've got some lap time world records shown in this video, and we've got some um, casual racing as well. So, let's start with the main focus of the DLC, the stunt part. So, as you can see here, these tracks from Rockstar Created are based on, to be honest with you, we didn't expect there'd be this many tracks and this type of level of customization in the game uh, from the DLC. We just thought, okay, maybe two or three tracks maybe, you know, a few ramps here and there, maybe a one minute track, something like that. These tracks, some of them could go on for like two minutes. It's basically Track Mania and GTA 5 had a baby and then, yeah, just merged all together. So, um, the track creation and the sort of the attention to detail from it is really really good um you know the, like for example this race here with the footballs it's quite funny just having it i mean when would you expect footballs to be in gta 5 it's like a completely different game uh, from it but the main thing that i love about this dlc is the cars the cars that Rockstar have brought out in this DLC and more to come in the coming weeks because we know we're going to be getting the stunt creator on the 2nd of August there'll be some new cars uh, coming out then as well but the car variety that Rockstar brought out is insane I mean we've got compact cars we've got a new favorite compact car in the class which is the Abar 500 which is shown here we've got you know world record setting lap time cars which I will be showing in the next part of the video in a second and we've also got, you know, fun cars to use, like, you know, the Vapid Trucks, a um, bit of off-road racing. We've got some proper old-school rally car, like the Audi Quattro, you know, a legend of a rally car if anyone's into the rallying. Rockstar have just thought of, like, let's, let's make a stunt DLC for, like, people that just enjoy GTA just for casually when they come home from school and want to kick some ass after that. But let's actually throw in some proper, genuine petrol head cars that people love and people love to race in this game. But I mean, check this guy, right? This is Murphos. Now you probably know Murphos, he's probably one of the best hot lapping guys out there, with, along with a few others. Uh, Shaggy's on the grind now with hot lapping. Um, and, but Murphos just goes out there and he completely smashes any time. Like any, any Rockstar track, or any track in particular, he'll just go out there. So make sure you check this guy out. Pretty much all he does is just post lap times and world records. So if you want to know your lines on a specific track, this is the guy to check out. But anyway, this is the new sort of world record on cutting Coronas with the new car that came out, which is the RE7B. And as you can see, it's a Le Mans style car, right? There's new traction levels in this game now. You know, this is not... People can say this is easy, but this is actually not easy because when you first jump into this car, you have you have to actually think further ahead than what you're actually doing because on a normal car like, for example, the Dominator now or the T20 or the Turismo, when you used to turn a corner, you used to think, "All right, I'll break a few, you know, a few yards away from the corner, turn in, everything will be great." In the Le Mans style cars, right? In all three of them, you know, the Tyrus, the ETR1, and obviously the uh, uh, 7B. You're literally braking at the very, very, if you're braking, depending on corner as well, because the cars has got so much traction. The faster you go, the more traction they have, which is pretty much kind of realistic in real life in terms of racing anyway, more downforce and everything. But um, you actually you actually have to brake as, as soon as you're about to turn in. It's that crazy. And some corners, you don't have to brake. And you're probably thinking, well, then where's the skill in that? Well, the skill in that is actually throttle control and positioning the turn um, it's quite technical I will be posting some videos on racing in you know in those type of cars I've already have done but it just brings a whole different dimension in racing a whole different dimension in terms of lap times and battles because people are literally going you know almost twice the speed through corners uh, at given times and that that generates a new skill in itself who's brave enough to actually full throttle a car through that corner 
And then we've got the old school size of the Fizzy. You know, we've got the typical T20 handling, the typical Turismo, the X80, the uh, Zentorno, which are supercars where they take a bit more skill to maybe, you know, drive because you've got to brake a bit earlier and, you know, they slide a bit more easily. So we've got two different types of handling physics in the game. And to be fair with you, everyone wanted an F1 style car in the game. They wanted F1 physics, you know, with the type of F1 car in the game. And we've sort of got that. We've got the nearest thing to it. So you have to hand it to Rockstar for that. And you, I just, I think this was the perfect DLC to refresh the game. You know, I did, I posted a tweet a couple of days ago. I said, many people were sick of GTA 5 for the DLC because all it did was bring out, for example, the X80, most expensive car in the game looked like something that emerged from a baby's bottom with an alien sticking out the other end and it was just yeah it was just that car that everyone bought raced for it for a couple of days and then forgot about it this game here actually brought back die hard or even casual gta 5 players back on the grind and this is always going to be evolving you know we're getting the stunt creator in a couple of weeks where we can actually put you know make our own tracks like this you know We've actually got something to to actually enjoy, you know, when you're bored of GTA. If you're just bored of normal circuit racing, go do some stunts. If you're bored of some stunts, go do some normal GTA racing. So, GTA has actually hit an all-time high in terms of content. And that's crazy. To Considering the game is nearly three years into its cycle, that is insane. Like, could you imagine going back to Advanced Warfare right now? And, you know, if they brought one major DLC out, even a crazy DLC on that game wouldn't work. But because Rockstar have got all games covered into one game, it's just, I, I love it. I love this DLC. You know, it's fun with friends. It's fun, you know, for actually racing competitively like, like I do. And I just can't fault it, you know. There's some bugs. Okay, there's some bugs like, for example, you probably saw earlier, um... The, when, when you go over certain checkpoints, you actually go over them instead of actually getting the checkpoint, even though, you know, there's no slipstream, that's that's pretty much what Rockstar code that corner to be, uh, and you make the jump, and some for some reason, you go over the checkpoint, so, pro uh, checkpoint placement on Rockstar's end, <clears throat> not the best, um, there's other few bugs, okay, maybe they could have put these type of cars, these Le Mans style cars, in a sort of race class, or a Le Mans style class, if that makes sense, um, but, you know, if people want to race, you know, with the supercars, okay, race with the supercars. I, I, get, the, I get the idea that the Zentorno and the T20 now, if someone's in a 7B, they're not going to have much chance, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm saying that straight up. Maybe that, that is probably the only bad thing I can say about this DLC, if that is classed as a negative. I suppose it is. Um, so maybe, yeah, it's own class. But everything else is just fantastic. This, hands down, has got to be the best DLC out there. And I can't really see much topping this DLC um, because it's got so much more to come. That's the best thing about it. It's not just a typical car. It's not just some free mode events. You know, we've actually got involvement in this. We've got progress. We've got stunt creator coming up. We've got new cars coming out. We've got new cars that handle differently. So we're not bored of the same physics on cars. Great, great DLC. Well done, Rockstar. Brought so many people back on the game brought so much more attention back on the game and hopefully this is more to come more crazy ideas like this are going to be great so tell me what you guys think in the comment section below if you agree hit the like button if you don't then tell me why you don't agree with this being the best dlc some people may think heist is the best dlc i'd put heist up there but i generally think cutting steel is more fun at the end of the day so that's great tell me what you guys think hopefully you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers